Susanna Mashat Jones, whose friends call her Miss Susie, celebrated her 116th birthday yesterday. For 20 years, she lived here at the Vandalia Senior Center in East New York. Today, local nonprofits and her friends threw a big party for her, attended by many distinguished visitors. Happy birthday, Miss Susie. And so I'm just thankful for her life and her struggle and her journey and the fact that we all stand on her broad shoulders. Miss Susie has reportedly said that one of the secrets to her longevity is sleep. She appeared to be catching up on more beauty rest through most of this party, but the energy there was unmatched as people danced, prayed, and sang in celebration of her life. She only takes one pill and a vitamin, so that's pretty good. That's better than most of us, right? <laughs> we always say that she hears. She hears us. She has selective hearing, but I think she heard everything. She's very aware of what's going on around her. Miss Susie, we love you. We love you, Miss Susie. Miss Susie was born in Alabama in 1899. Though she was only briefly married herself and has no children, she has been very close to her family, including over 100 nieces and nephews. Many of them were here today. She talked to us about how difficult the time was when she was growing up. Growing up. That's why she left Alabama for better opportunity for herself and her family. Sometimes she would live with me, and sometimes before she got an apartment of her own, sometimes she would live with some of the other nieces. So it was all like a family, and she was like our mother. She worked hard. She sent, I guess you know, she sent two or three of her nieces to college. Miss Susie also loves to eat and has eggs with four strips of bacon every morning. Why do you think God uh, saw fit to let her live to this advanced age? I think he's as an example for his awesome power, how, how he can work miracles. And he worked miracles every day, every day. We, the fact that we can get up in the morning, on our, a lot of people can't get up on their own, but we can get up. I was able to get up this morning. You were too. That's a miracle in itself. Look at the pumpy lumber people who have died. It was their time to die because I believe we all have a time to die. And, and it's not yet tea time, Susan's time to go. So he have here here for a purpose. We are your children. Happy birthday to you. We wish you many, many years of happiness. Borough President Adams proclaimed yesterday as Miss Susie Day. Today also happens to be my birthday. And whatever age I live to be, I hope to remember to always love the people around me, as Miss Susie told us today. Reporting for Currents in East New York, I'm Conrad Aderer.